So people, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and today guys I'm going to show you how to get something pretty epic in nothing other than Mantis Blades from Cyberpunk 2077 within Dying Light and it's a blueprint they're called Cyberhands 2177 and they are incredible it's also uh, at the same time uh, shows you a Kyle Crane Easter egg the bad man from Dying Light 1 so if you're interested in this and want to see more stay tuned How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Mantis Blades I'll quickly craft for you guys. Um, they are pretty badass. I've got them equipped. There they are. Look at, look at these people. Put my lights on for you. Look at these people. Let's chop some shit up and hopefully I don't get chased. Pop, pop, pop. Ah, jump, yes. Come on, what? Ah, chop everybody up! Where are you going? Have they got a heavy attack? Let's have a look. Yeah, they do. Oh, they do. They're having. Why are you spitting piss all over me, man? Come on in. Electric as well, chains. That's epic. Come on, bitches. Come on, bitches. I'll do everybody over. Okay, so let's get out of there. Let's pick up these all while we're here. Okay, so these are a basically a Easter egg reward. So you wanna actually it's footage I recorded earlier, and I'll play that for you in a quick second. But it's very important you get to this part of the game where you let's actually have a look in my journal so I can tell you exactly where we are here. Um. It's not spy game. Why all the rest of my uh oh, there, we, there we go. There we go. It's broadcast. The broadcast mission, you more or less need to get this done because of the reward of being the grapple hook. Without the grapple hook, this is gonna be real hard to do. You could probably still do it. I'm not saying you can't, but without the grapple hook, it's gonna be real hard to do. So broadcast, I'd recommend you get into this part of the story before attempting this because you have to climb literally, guys that building there the tallest building in this whole city is absolutely craziness so um if you've done the broadcast mission you have to go up there anyway but if you haven't grabbed these or you've missed out on these uh, i'm going to run you through exactly how you uh, get back up there and guys uh, for people who want to try this who are brave enough to attempt it without a grapple hook you can that's completely up to you so the footage i will play in the background in a quick second so this is where we are in the city right now now i will also stay if you want to see the kyle crane easter egg um i will well i'll put a timestamp in the video description and the comments section for those that just want to skip straight to it we're interested in actually getting these but yeah on the map right here you can see where we've got a b and now we've got a scale up to the very top of this absolutely hideous ginormous building and this will take a while one thing i recommend is you've got decent stamina my stamina currently is on a eight or nine i believe it is i think you if you've got a stamina of about five or six you should be okay here but obviously you want to run up this rampy kind of thing spamming that a button and here you want to turn around and jump onto this just so you get that stamina back this part can be a little tricky you just need to grab a look up and up, like just, 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 just jump across and struggle. Don't struggle like I struggle. You can do it straight away. Here, you want to aim for that. Just spam, spam that jump button and you're good. Do the same one up here. And once you get to the top here, guys, you want to turn back around and uh, jump on here. Get your stamina back. And here, just, it's about just chomping across there really this part ain't hard at all so let's go across there and then just jump and then run up here people run up here people 
Then you want to turn back on yourself and jump across here. But don't fail like me, don't almost fall like me. And from here, guys, I'm here like I'm thinking, where you got to go from here? Have you got to go up there? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. But then I realise you've got to actually paraglide across. So you literally just have to jump to your right here. I'm still, I remember we're actually recording this at the time thinking, I can't get across here. I'm just going to fall to my death. And then realise, oh, no, no, no. It's that way. That's where we got to go. Got there in the end. And here, really, it's a, um, see, like I'm saying, I'm pretty certain you will need a grab hook for go for a bath while I was here, people. But yeah, I'm pretty certain you will need a grab hook to get up here. Because, I mean, these parts are quite simple. But there's parts further on up, guys, which they're impossible. They're more or less impossible to actually do. So simply just jump across. There is actually a inhibitor container along here as well. There's one on the very roof, but I just haven't looked for that yet. But you know, there is, there is I think, two in this one building. I've grabbed one of them. So I've run up these stairs thinking, uh, and then we realize, no, that's not the way you go. And you go this way. Jump up here. Climb up here. Turn around on yourself and jump across. I'm thinking, do I have to go here? Yet? Do I have to go? I'm just so confused. You know, I've done this. this only, I think it's the second time of me doing this. So I was a little confused as to where to go. But then just run this way. Go up again. I'm thinking, I'm sure that container's here, but it ain't. It's the next floor up. You can see it right there. And it was a loaded full of loot for me again. Pretty cool, people. Okay, so from here, guys, we have to go across to the main building, which is uh, the broadcast building. It's absolutely humongous. Look, we've got to get to the very, very, very top of that. So that's what I'm saying. How would you get across there without a grab hook? I don't think it'd be possible. I don't think it would be possible. But like I said, I think you will have to have completed this uh this broadcast mission before you can go back and grab this. So if you've done this already, you will, this part will be familiar to you. Um, which you would have to have come this way the first time. It's actually the first time. It's the only other time I actually got up here while I was recording this. Just a uh, grab hook onto that, and then onto here. You got to turn back around and jump onto this yellow rag right here. And grab hook has to come out again, people. And woohoo! There you go. And then through this dark, dark room, just follow it around. Then jump across. And then to your right, climb up here. And then, guys, you have to use your grapple hook again. But well, this time it's a double whammy. So one, pop up, pop to two. And then just jump onto this. There we go. And jump up there. And just follow where I go. Jump across this light. Ignore the, there's actually an enemy here, I don't have to fight him, just run past him. And we're good, just jump up there, and we're good. So from here, it's more scary now. See, I dropped the ladders down last time, but I thought for people that haven't done that, I'd just go this way. I thought I'd just show the way um, I went first time. Turn around, jump. Oh, grab hook even. Then jump. Same again. Woohoo! And then you have to jump around here, out up on here. You go up a hook. Well, just jump back across. Like so. I almost went over then. And then jump onto this. And you're thinking, what? Where, where do we go? What? What's happening here? What, what's happening here? And I'm thinking, oh yeah, there's a room there. Let's go that way. 
Uh, man, this game has sucked away my life. You know, I was I want to get the story completed. The problem is I'm just finding secrets and I have to cover them for you guys. So I'm in no rush. I mean, the story, I, 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 like, I know the story got a lot of bad neg well, negativity. Yeah, I quite like it, to be honest. To be honest, I'm also getting a lot of um, Panem vibes with the bird. I can't remember her name. Tired. But you know. Funny that uh, this is a Cyberpunk Geek Strike video as well. Talking about Panam, you know, Panam people. But yep, jump across here. Back here, there we go. Let me go to the top. Up on here. And now it gets, like I said, this is impossible without the grapple hook, I believe. There's a chest at the end there, which actually will it have loot back in there for me? Yes, it does. There we go. Pick that shit up to sell it. Oh yeah, can you get across here without the grapple hook? I'm not sure if you could walk along the left hand side there. I mean, you can be brave enough to try it guys. Fair play to you. I mean, it's pretty high up to be honest here. If you look down to the right there, man. Let's run and jump. Grapple hook. Jump, there we go. Here's a triple whammy. One, two, three, and there we go. Now, this one's probably the hardest bit of the whole thing. Drop hook onto that. You have to turn back on yourself and jump backwards. So, go around here and just jump that way. Just make sure you're holding that direction and you're good. We're more or less now guys on the roof I think I think there's just this one here or is there two? yeah there's two here one more ba boom jump up there up there now here we have to go further up I forgot about this part shit <laughs> yeah there's a lot of this bit there's a lot of this I think this Easter eggs probably worth it because of the mantis blades. I mean, but if you can watch somebody else's video, guys, of uh, the Kyle Crane Easter egg, and you're not interested in the mantis blades, there's probably no point in trying to get up here. But yeah, we gotta like do what I did there, just run, slide down, grab hook onto these crane things, and land on these platforms. Go up, do it again. Wrap a hook there onto this back up. There is another inhibitor container around here somewhere. But this is the one I still haven't got yet. And you want to just run, jump, slide as far as you can. If you can't, if you don't slide as far as that, just grab, grab a hook onto that crane. You should be fine. And try and land as best you can on that platform without going off the building. So that would be embarrassing. So from here, I mean, I could just climb that ladder there. That's the one I dropped down myself, but I'm just going to go the way I had to go last time. So up this ladder. And then you need to grab a hook back across. Woohoo! Oh shit. And then you've got to climb up that this ladder. Pretty high. And then jump down onto this beam below you. When you're ready, DPJ, when you're ready, there you go. There you go. So jump up there. And then wait for this to spin around for the open. And then straight up, people. Okay, so from here, you just want to paraglide onto this roof. And there we go. Now, the actual Kyle Crane Easter egg only happens at night. So when you are here, you obviously want to go to sleep. Well, make sure it's nighttime. So use the bed right there um, to make sure it's nighttime before you do this because it would be embarrassing. Because once you come off this building, guys, if 
you've got any other bases or home bases around this area, it's a good chance you're going to spawn at them. So if you fall off this and die, you'll probably have to climb all the way back up here again, which isn't good. But that's the roof is Han. Is Han. Is Han. Is Han. Han Solo. Yeah, he's on there. But you need to um, jump to the one nearest to you, to your right. But what I'll do is I'll go to sleep for a second, uh, make sure it's night time. Oh, actually, I have, to, I have to skip this bit because I'm standing here for about five minutes staring at that. Some weird ass reason. So yes, it's now night time, people. Use that bed. Wait till night. You know what I mean. Uh, don't know what's happening to my character again. But when I wake up, it will be that night time. It will be that night time. So uh, from here, people, you need to jump onto this roof right here. So the closest one first, that is the one you need to jump onto. No messing about, just go. Just go. I dropped it a little bit and then pulled up my parachute and howled backwards. So I take the slower route and then I start to go a little bit. First up, so I get a little bit of momentum and I'm about halfway across. I mean, if your stamina is high enough, you could probably just do it in one, one uh, glide all the way across to the main building there on your left. But nah, I wouldn't. And plus, there's a, a military crate up here as well, a military airdrop up here as well. So yeah, you want to get that while you're here. You want to get that while you're here. Now I'll skip past this because we all know what's in here, and then we'll go on to the next jump. So what you want to do is you want to climb up on these boxes. And then just run and jump. Just run and jump off. And just, just go out across people. Make sure you're holding backwards so you don't just drop down. Because again, that would be embarrassing. And now once you land on here guys, you can see that little fire in the back left corner. You'll see him right there. And there we have it guys, uh, you'll get the Kyle Crane Easter Egg which I'll leave you to watch. You'll then get the Mantis Blades which are down to your right, he gives them to you. You'll get the blueprint and you are good to go people so enjoy the video, enjoy the Mantis Blades. If you did, drop in a like, it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Ryan. Nice to see you. How's your search? Welcome, Aiden. Hi. Do we know each other? You could say that. Been here and there. Heard this and that. You can do amazing stuff. Almost like Kyle Crane. Kyle Crane. A friend of mine mentioned that name once. Who is he? You mean, who was he? Kyle was a hero. He was going to save Haran. But sometimes, even the greatest heroes stumble. And don't get up again. But the fact we're talking now, it's essentially thanks to him. Let's focus on the bright side of the situation. What else have you heard about me? Quite a lot. You see... Each action you perform affects the people around you. Your every decision has an impact on this world. Ever heard of the so-called butterfly effect? No, unfortunately, I haven't. No worries. I will describe it briefly. This phenomenon finds a vivid representation in the example of a butterfly, whose flapping wings in one location can result in a certain effect, such as a tornado, in a completely different place. Every time you flap your wings, Pilgrim, you can cause a tornado. Keep this in mind when making your decisions. Who are you, exactly? Codename Liquidator. From the B613 region. How 
How did you get in here? Are, are you a night runner? I'm not. Although I have always appreciated them. They were the good spirits of Villador. They did their best to rebuild the city. Until the carnage of the VNC tower stopped them. So many died. Or went into hiding. Or broke down completely. Like Frank? Yes. Poor Frank. Everything got ruined so suddenly. Just like humanity under the epidemic. But Aiden, always try to be positive about the world. A piece of advice, if you will. It's gonna be easier for you this way. I am looking at you right now, and I am filled with hope about how this story will end. What are you even doing here? I came here from the LDPD looking for a fugitive, just like Max Walker did from the TEC. A fugitive? Here? Yes. I'm looking for a wanted criminal. A certain Margarita Connor. Can I help you in some way? No thanks. I can handle it. I always do. I see. I'll be honest with you. This is quite an unusual meeting. Unusual? And it could be usual. It's time for me to go. Look after yourself. Time! Yes. I've already forgotten about that variable. Quasi and Sick must be waiting for me now. Uh, who? Other LDPD officers. Goodbye, Aiden. Goodbye, uh... <laughs> what's your name? Cayetan. Call me Cayetan. That code name, the Liquidator. <laughs> Sounds weird when spoken out loud. <laughs> and there, I've left something for you. And how did that get... Wait, what the... 